Palm Art. Who's gonna suck? Who, who's gonna suck him? Do you doing? You better, go, you better let go of his. Oh, you want it? You want problems? You want problems too? You don't touch my. Don't touch my. Let it go. Don't touch my. I promise you. Promise you I'll blow you away. I promise you I'll blow you away. Now, what happens to a donkey when they decide to go buy a microphone and a camera? They become kick streamers. Today, what I have for you is this kick streamer who walked up to a couple who were minding their own business and decided to harass them and call them both stupid. And when the woman turned back and said, no, you're stupid, he felt threatened. He felt like he's being Bluetooth touched. The woman tried to go for the camera because the camera was being shoved in their faces and they were randomly being cursed out because they were making out in a place that no one was there. They were just minding their own business, having a good time. It's not like they were putting their pants down and fucking at that right moment. But hey, these two streamers decide to walk up to them, harass them. And once the woman decides to take the phone away, he pulled up a weapon threatening to blow away this woman and not in a sexy way he had a whole ass big glock on his hand because he's allowed to get in people's faces but if someone gets in my face bitch do you know who i am do you see this weapon i am not playing i am going to drop you dead he's a man who wears a magnum extra 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 large condom he his third leg is so big that it's visible to everyone i don't know how he's not banned before even this whole situation happened but the second he gets confronted by the police he becomes the biggest uh, extra 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 s magnum x he becomes the biggest bitch in the world and tells the police that don't hurt me don't hurt let's just watch the video and we're gonna go through it part by part you pussy i love the pov from nampa no, stream prime it shows the real you you gotta appreciate your height your balding and your few palma art you ain't shit. who's gonna you suck who who's gonna suck what did they do to you is this your girlfriend that's cheating on you on public no it's a f just two people minding their own business is this an ex-girlfriend you ran into with some other dude even if you do it's still not fucking acceptable like unfortunately it is in their blood they cannot just walk past a person just having a good time they're there to shit on their good time and any way they can sock him in the face what are you doing you better go, you better let go of his shit uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh yeah i got burnt yeah she, she's in that grab my phone oh you want it you want problems you want problems too you want problems you want problems? Don't drive my shit. I I'll promise you I'll shoot the shit. Put let let it go. Don't touch my Now I watched Bubba Charlie cover this video and say how big this gun is and one hundred percent I agree. It looks like a gun on steroids. It's either the gun is too big or his hands are too small i can't tell which is which but i didn't even know a glock it was actually this big america is a wild place it is that 100 not worth it to get into any argument with anyone because any second they can self-defense themselves i'm very thankful in the middle east that guns are extremely not allowed and no one has it or has access to it or oh, we have access to this bad boy right here and don't get fooled by the size or the color of this bad boy this does damage too. Like I've seen a lot of videos of neighbors getting into altercations or people on the street getting into arguments and the smallest things can escalate so fast. Like someone can go like, you're stupid. And the person's like, you call me stupid. Anyone who's going through a man who has anger management, which is very often with the US citizens, literally anyone can just have nothing, nothing to lose. They're going to hit that red spot. They're going to just lose their shit. And next thing you know, Pow, 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 pow. or they bring a fucking ar and just empty the whole mag on you why because you call them stupid and then they're gonna look down on you all like dead with your fucking blood everywhere and they're gonna be like who's stupid now i promise you who the, why would you grab the shit on my phone you don't understand what trouble you're getting yourself I, into what, what trouble now the first 10 seconds of this clip it was verified that these two were absolute donkeys but when she said you don't know what trouble yourself getting yourself into and he goes like what trouble this double verified double step verification the donkiness in them because he doesn't even realize what kind of shit he's getting himself into he's thinking oh what she's gonna pull up and she's going to whack my ass no dumbass you're recording yourself pulling out a weapon towards a woman and you're threatening to blow her away this is called evidence i promise i'll stop. blow you away i promise not. i'll blow you away she touched us first she touched us first she touched us first we were minding our business and she randomly decided to come up to our face and she decided to invade our privacy 
by by Bluetooth touching our stuff. It's not like we shoved the camera at their throat and gave them middle fingers and called them both a bitch. It's not that. We were just walking and they decided to touch us and violate us. It's the next level of stupidity. He sprayed Get out of here. Now, the couple say something in this clip. They sprayed us. I'm assuming it was pepper spray, but it was not being recorded. And there's no evidence of it in the video. Most probably they did 100%. I don't even need the evidence for it. And one thing I also like to point out at the beginning of the video, the guy who pulled out a pew pew and was holding the camera at the beginning of the video, he told his very friendly friend at the beginning, he called them a vagina. You pussy. So most probably they were playing a truth in there and the chat or the guy there with him to go towards this couple and just ruin the whole night. And that's what happened. It was all based on a dare. And in this situation, usually if anything happens, they're like, it's a prank, bro. It's a prank. But in, this, in their cases, since they have very, very large cucumbas, very large penises, they do not say it's a prank. They stood their business because if the couple said anything about the situation, they're going to be like, what? what? It's, it's not a prank. What do you do? He fucking sprayed, dude. He fucking sprayed. He sprayed all Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Please, 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 please. Fuck out of here. I'm a fucking... You stupid. You stupid. Please, please, please. Up. The woman said our eyes are burning, so most probably while the camera was being pointed at his nipples and his uh, purse on his chest, his friendly friend sprayed them with pepper spray or whatever it was that is burning their eyes. Put the away. Away. This is the hero of the night. This is the hero we didn't know we needed, but we definitely needed them. And thankfully for him, it is the reason why these two are arrested. Because if they would have listened to this guy and just went their way, people came forward, they decided to, you know what, guys, separate, it's fine. Let's just, let's just go on with our nights. But these guys, they were like, you know how big my dick is? You, who do you think you are as well? And he just like threatened to blow this guy away. Do you want problems? Absolutely fucking donkeys. This is the part where this man decided to do the smart thing, not to confront them, go face to face since they have a gun on the steroids. So he decided to go to the police and tell them about how he got threatened and the police just confronted them once they were coming down the escalator. Blaster. I'll blow you away. Really? Uh, really? Okay. All right. I got it. You saw me get crazy. Yeah. I was like, I'll... oh shit. Oh, yeah, I need some Act like nothing's wrong. Huh? Y'all didn't right. hear the confrontation. Why? What are we putting on here, man? No. What? No, no, stop, stop, stop. No, no, I don't want problem. I don't want problem. I don't want. I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing, sir. Bro, 60 by give us a red Cromwell. Sir, I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing. Hey, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. Turn around. Turn around. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Please. Don't hurt me. I have never seen anyone turn so fast from being a gangster to a little bitch this fast. What, bitch? What? To pre? Please don't hurt me, sir. Pre, sir, I'm complying. And that's just all there is to it. Anyone who plays gangster, what? You, you know who I am. Anyone who plays this kind of thing, especially in front of the camera or if their friends are watching, if they get into a real like confrontation and they're actually facing someone, like someone their own size or has the same gangster energy or they run into a real gangster, they're going to just bitch out. I honestly expected more from these two because they were real G's over there. I expected for them to go like, fuck the pigs, hashtag fuck the police. We are getting, uh, what's it called? We're getting arrested for no reason. The whole system is corrupted. We didn't do nothing. She touched my camera first. <laughs> I honestly expect them to, to go like this and just blame the whole system because they didn't do anything wrong. Long story short, these two are arrested. There's rumors of them getting jailed for sentence for like six years, but it is not verified. But they are 100% in the sitting in a jail cell and waiting for sentencing. And I hope they go away for a long time. I honestly don't understand the U.S system how it works some people do the craziest things and they get like jailed for three years only i don't know if their lawyers is joyoma from tiktok or not but shit don't make sense someone does a small thing they get like life to 22 life and i think after this it is finally time for kick platform to put rules on their platform you know they let a lot of free dumb shit happens and 
people will just want to be streamers get out of the hood by just waving their guns around in a stream doing just they're bringing criminals as we talked about about the last streamer who <laughs> tickled people without their permission in my opinion they need to be locked up behind bars for the rest of their lives because like what what the fuck is this you're going you're confronting someone and if someone hurts your feelings you're gonna pull out a weapon and threaten to shoot and once people try to come and separate it you're like you know what i will blow all you bitches he's a danger to society not by only his cringe streams and annoying streams but also because he's fucking carrying and just threatening anyone who calls him anything that slightly is going to hurt his feelings 100 percent, he's the type of guy who stands in front of the camera or goes goes on ig live and just shows up like 20 dollar bills and just fucking waves the gun and t when he wakes up every morning he has his weapon next to him like under the pillow and he puts it in the mirror and he's like who's a sexy boy who, who's a sexy boy? God forbid if he's having intercourse with a woman and the woman say, damn, I didn't think it was that small. And she's going to get popped. Not popped by his 3 inch, but popped by his 12 inch Glock, fucking 36 inch Glock that he's carrying. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought these two idiots were a good video to cover and just point and laugh at. And thankfully, they're behind bars and permanently banned from kick, which is very rare because... If you get a perma band, you, you really did something messed up. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe. I ain't doing this, but I gotta tell you since the, we're st still starting up, the community is still growing. And it's, a, it's just a reminder for you. If you enjoyed it, like it, subscribe it, leave a comment. Share that with your friends if you want to. But yeah, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.